What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome. I am the Crypto Crow. I'm checking levels, <clears throat> making sure everything's okay. <clears throat> so, uh, Happy New Year, for one. Uh, it is January 3rd already. Uh, January 3rd, 2022. And uh, I have a lot of high hopes for this year, folks. I have a lot of high hopes, a lot of expectation. Not necessarily in the exact short term, because uh, I can see things potentially coming down again here. I mean, <clears throat> a lot of the TA, a lot of the stuff that I've been reading, you know, it almost seems like the market is begging for a $42,000 Bitcoin uh, before we move forward and hopefully upward and onward. There's no guarantee, of course, but as I've been saying for, well, years now, I do think this is gonna be a two peak market and, um, We'll have to see how it plays out. Bitcoin's currently trading at about 47,000. Uh, looks like, yeah, about 47,100 or so. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, we'll have to see how, how things go. But, I mean, you know, to see a $42,000 Bitcoin, that's it's going to be a stiff road. But a lot of the stuff that we're seeing is basically saying that uh, we may... And here, here's the thing. Here's the thing that I want to point out about TA. While TA is, uh, while TA on a, on on some scales can be very much accurate, it doesn't matter what everybody expects to see. And quite frankly, the more, from what I've seen in the markets for years in the crypto spaces, generally whatever everybody is saying is going to happen, the opposite does. And so, you know, everyone out there is calling for a $42,000 Bitcoin or lower. <clears throat> Quite frankly, I mean, it could be the opposite. I mean, we could see a parabolic run to 60,000 overnight. We just never know when it's going to hit. So, and that's one of the reasons why I don't trade. And I, it, you know, I used to dabble in like swing trading, day trading, that sort of thing. But the one thing I've also learned about stop losses is you know a lot of people they they trade with stop losses to try and protect themselves they move their stop losses up on a long and so forth and so on but the problem is is that often and it's happened to me multiple times depending on the exchange you're on and the volume that you're trading on <clears throat> there's a good chance that your stop loss could get skipped over and you know it, and you just you never get you never liquidate when you when you think you should or you're trying to so um you know everything is risky in crypto you just never know hindsight's always 2020 uh as i always say but all you can really do is try to do the best you can but you know ethereum is trading at 3828 and you know it's just been going up and down up and down i mean the this this pattern of of what i would consider consolidation i mean it looks like it's leaning more towards the upside um but that doesn't always mean anything cardano i basically have been looking at it a dollar 36 to a dollar 38 uh for for you know a while now now these are four hour charts so We'll have to see. I mean, obviously, this isn't a real in-depth uh, technical analysis of any kind, but I uh, just wanted to show you kind of what's going on in the market a little bit. Top earners so far uh, over the last seven days, Yearn Finance is up 70, almost 73%, trading at 33, almost 33 and a half thousand dollars. It's crazy. Terra Luna is up 65% to almost $100. Um, you know, CeeLo up 42%. I haven't seen much activity there uh, in quite some time. 
Hedera H bar up 40%. This has definitely been seeing some pump activity, and I've also been seeing a lot of people talking about it more frequently. Uh, I've always kind of thought like the Hedera hash graph was was some pretty in, in, ingenious technology for dis, di, you know a distributed ledger system, and it may come out ahead. I don't know. We'll see. Icon back up to a dollar thirty nine, up twenty seven percent. You know, I I I was pumping and talking about Icon when it was eleven cents, and uh, you know it did pretty well for a while, but then came crashing down with the rest of the market. And it's been struggling to get back up. Um, you know, uh, we'll, we'll, anything could happen. I've had a lot of people asking me lately about XRP, currently up 20% over the last seven days, almost getting back to a dollar. And, um, you know, to me, XRP is still just a risky business, man. I, and, you know, I while I, I think that the technology is cool and, and I know that there are a lot of X, XRP holders still out there, I just don't feel comfortable about the fight. You know, for me to throw a thousand bucks into XRP, uh, maybe get a thousand of them for a rainy day in case things go really well, you know, it might be worthwhile. But, um, you know, the, 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 the one thing that I know about the SEC is, I mean, you know, a lot of people can say what they want, but they're not stupid people. And I don't, I, I don't know exactly what the motives might be behind going after XRP so hard. A lot of people think it's uh, how they're trying to suppress the price uh, so that, you know, governments and everybody can buy in before they launch their stable tokens or their, their whatever using the XRP ledger system. Who knows? I, I, I don't know how much of that I buy into and how much of that is just kind of influence or hopium. Um, but <clears throat> we'll, we'll see how that pans out. Some news that I want to go over, uh, Cardano-related news. And uh, I've got a paid segment for a new NFT launch that I actually think looks pretty sick um because i don't really do nft stuff um but this one looks pretty pretty cool so i figure i might as well talk about it and they they're you know they paid so <laughs> why not um ada the sweetest decentralized exchange on cardano now security audited this is a moment I'm waiting for, man. I'm waiting for Sunday Swap to launch. Sunday Swap is a native, scalable, decentralized exchange and automated liquidity provision protocol. It is backed by C Fund, an early stage sector agnostic venture firm in the blockchain industry, anchored by IOHK and managed by Wave Financial. Um, Sunday Swap goes live on public testnet. That was December 6th. And the security audit has concluded apparently on December 28th. And so I'm expecting to see a public uh, mainnet launch of this anytime now. And I am waiting. Uh, you know, what's funny is, is I didn't full, I didn't know that like you could, I noticed that the stake, uh, the staking on the crow node, was it like 60 million ADA at one point and that and it's fallen down to like 35 million maybe i don't know it might be at 30 million i can't remember offhand and it's been a booming uh staking node but i couldn't figure out why why are people pulling their ada away from me like what's happening and then i realized it's because a lot of these like sunday swap meld a lot of these they're basically offering their own thing they're saying hey if you you know between this time and that time you know stake your ada to our node and instead of ada you're going to get sunday swap tokens or meld tokens instead the problem is is that all of these have been concluded but people have left their ada staked to these nodes they're not getting any rewards at all they're not getting shit so throw it back on crow node <laughs> uh and and uh start getting your rewards again so uh we'll see um emergo cardano's blockchain commercial arm has announced plans to acquire infinity blockchain group business units in a bid to expand cardano's interoperability sunday swap a cardano based decentralized exchange recently announced the completion of its security audit by runtime verification it is now in the process of fixing various inefficiencies ahead of its main net debut. I'm, I'm, I'm just excited about that. Uh, interoperability remains at the forefront of Cardano's mission. I, I really think Cardano wants to become the grand central station of crypto. I mean, really. So I'm, I'm excited to see this. Um, we'll have to wait. We'll have to wait. Cardano was the most developed crypto on GitHub in 2021, study finds. 
Development activity is often an undervalued predictor of a project's success in the cryptocurrency space as it demonstrates not only a team's monthly dedication to building a working product, but also improving and updating its features. According to data provided by on-chain data platform Santiment, which I have an account, actually a pretty good platform, out of the top 20 publicly visible cryptocurrency projects, development activities on GitHub, Cardano, Kusama, and Polkadot are recognized as the top projects with the most development activity in 2021. Indeed, Cardano is slightly ahead of both Kusama and Polkadot in terms of overall development uh, activity in the past year. Uh, the platform tracks development data from thousands of public GitHub re repositories, with the exception of non-developer events, such as comments, uh, individuals following an issue, release downloads, etc. Ethereum and Gnosis came in at fourth and fifth, respectively, in the list. While development efforts have little to no effect on short-term market trends, they may be an excellent sign of a project's long-term long growth as they show commitment to the project roadmap. Why would there be so much development on a ghost chain? To all you ignoramus futters out there. Um, that's a question I'd love for you to answer. Uh, you know, I, I kid, but I, I, you know, I still see, I see some of, the, some of the most ignorant comments about Cardano on Twitter. And I, and I'm just like, some people, I don't know. It's nonsensical. It really is anymore. And it's becoming a meme in and of itself. Uh, anytime I see somebody just taking jabs at Cardano, I'm like, you're just, you're really just salty. You didn't get in sooner. Um, so, and, and what I'm also, I'm going to assume <laughs> based off of some of the stuff I see, I'm going to assume that some of these people got into projects probably around the time, you know, I was maybe talking about Cardano. They decided to pick another pony and that pony's coming in really, really far behind. So they're trying to like smack the legs of, of Gardano's pony to try and slow it down. It doesn't work, folks. Stop being stupid. Like just get in and and, and enjoy the run up as it goes. Um, but man, some people are just ridiculous and they're just their, I don't know, just their sheer to desire to hate. Um, I don't know. Yeah, to each their own. I mean, whatever. If this is you, you're watching this video and you're just like a Cardano futter, or honestly, if you're futting any quality project out there for the sheer sake that you just don't own it you're really kind of a moron i mean let's just be real about it you're just a hater for haters sake uh but whatever <laughs> what are you gonna do here's what's in store for cardano in 2022 cardano has no doubt had an interesting year in 2021 its native token ada has grown from <clears throat> less than 30 cents <clears throat> less than 30 cents how about two cents uh to its record high above three dollars it was a remarkable year filled with firsts for the project the most notable being a launch of smart contract capability on the network as the year 2021 draws to a close investors are beginning to look towards the new year and what, what might be in stock for these digital assets to this end charles hoskinson once again took to his youtube channel where he explained to 300,000 subscribers in a live video what they should expect in the coming year DeFi on Cardano, obviously a big one. Uh, the development of decentralized finance on the Cardano blockchain has been a long awaited event for both the network and its supporters. With smart contracts capability launched in September, expectations have grown even more as investors anticipate the launch of the first DeFi protocols. Um, that's obviously going to be a big deal. We already know that. Spreading in Africa, Cardano founder Charles did not fail to mention Africa, a continent that has been a real interest to the blockchain. For Hoskinson, bringing these peer-to-peer -peer decentralized finance services to the continent and spreading them so all of the continent can benefit from this. He refers to this spread of real FI across the continent as the dream. And I get it. I share in that. I, I think it's fantastic. He also outlines other projects scheduled, scheduled to take place on the network. Hoskinson lists out plans to enhance the network smart contract platform known as Plutus, as well as the three Cardano improvement proposals, taking a note from Ethereum improvement proposals that are being worked on by developers that will come into the project. The founder also acknowledged the growth of the community, which has grown tremendously in 2021. You're welcome. I'm just kidding. 
uh we're staging things appropriate uh, there are so many there's so many youtubers now that have gotten so big as i basically slack around sweated my ass off in puerto rico with vertigo unable to really move um not that not that it's puerto rico's fault it's really not um i i just you know I, a part of it was just i really needed a break uh but i'm seeing all these guys they're like 200,000 300,000 subscribers and i can't get any more subscribers unless i go on one of their channels so thanks bit boy for the 5,000 subscribers i got on the video or they got over 225,000 views in a matter of like a week and a half <laughs> um so anyway there's a lot of good stuff happening with cardano and i you know i don't even really need to tell you folks this i mean it, it's it's coming and you know the reality is is if if we are in fact if we do in fact um break some new highs in bitcoin and the market starts crushing it again um cardano is going to the moon i mean it, it, there's no ifs ands or buts about it the market's in a lull it's been kind of stagnant you know we might even see a pretty significant dip before we start going up again or we might not at all i don't know believe me i'm watching it like a hawk i'm stressing every minute because i want to make sure that i'm right um because the, i mean it's an opportunity you know uh, i will say though um you know for those of you guys that are out there you're taking some profit um without getting too conspiratorial uh i would highly suggest you guys make some cash handy uh and i don't necessarily want this video to be like memed or go down in history as accurate i hope i hope not but i would definitely with the climate with everything going on the warnings that we're getting all over the place um something tells me that holding some cash in hand is going to be a very very valuable asset maybe in the coming year maybe in the coming two three five years i don't know uh but i definitely see some nuttiness happening and um when when you when you put a lot of this stuff into perspective when you're talking about blockchain technology and everything that's been growing and taking shape over the last you know i mean literally since 2009 but you know more recently since 2016 17 and, and, and to present day we're seeing an entire transformation of of a financial ecosystem on a global level and there are people who love it us because we're doing well as early adopters we're taking these risks we're doing what we can to try and benefit from this this newfound uh technological era in finance um and and while wall street and the institutions and everyone else is playing catch up you know uh, the governments may not necessarily agree or like everything going on in the crypto space and you know with that i don't know something tells me that if um if they have a way of ushering in a more significant element of control to everything going on you know they're they're likely going to do that and and i think that when that happens anything digital uh is likely going to be hurt at least temporarily um how temporary i don't know but you know i i, de I am definitely seeing a lot of stuff going on um you know these simulations that have been running recently um i, I think with t 10 different countries and, and as it relates to like a big cyber attack and what that means and um you know typically when i see that anymore uh, to me it just feels like a dry run <laughs> i mean and i and i and i and i you know i don't know i hope not um i hope it's all just preparation for ifs and that you know what ifs and all that uh but if something like that were to happen like if another country decides that you know they don't like us or they want what we have or whatever um in a digital age where pretty much everything runs on electrical current you know if you have a way of getting rid of that um you can shut down an entire country quite easily with the flip of a switch and when that happens cash will be king again so and i'm not saying you know dump everything you've got in the cash and you know start digging holes in your backyard that's not necessarily what i'm saying i'm just saying maybe little bits here and there keep adding to that coffee can somewhere um just in case of an emergency that's really all i'm saying i'm not trying to be too crazy <laughs> but you just never know um all right we're gonna talk about this this is a paid segment but this is actually really cool and uh, i kind of want one of these i really like this gorilla um so we're gonna i'm gonna read some notes here first and then we're gonna go into the website um 
it's a real artist that's putting this out. This isn't just some like computer generated garbaggio. Uh, this is this is all put out by a real artist. Uh, we're gonna go into his details a little bit. A physical sculpture for each buyer of the NFT when minted. Um, I really like these. <laughs> I mean, this is super low polygon. Um, and you know, but and I, oh, I like that too. I, I like it. my wife loves elephants. That's probably why she married me, quite frankly. Um, but uh, yeah, that elephant would be sweet. Oh gosh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really do kind of want to see what. I don't have any idea what these are gonna go for, but I really like these. Um, space trip, yes, real space trip plus zero gravity experience to train how to be an astronaut. <laughs> Okay, private expo and private concert one month after with major singers just for the holders in the New York City Park Avenue area. Um, the first NFT concert private for NFT community, Tyga, Fat Joe, maybe Jason Derulo, only for us. Uh, these are the notes I was given uh, with this, with this uh, segment. At least one chance in 50 to win 0.5 Ethereum and other prizes. Only 1,000 of each of my art, which is now in total 11,000 pieces, but means rarity is high as future drop of my sculptures will be 1,000 per each. Okay. Um, only beginning of international career with New York, Miami, Roma, Paris exposed to come. I'm not sure what, what native language the person that wrote these notes are, uh, what they speak. Crazy collabs done already with big brands and more to come, such as Supercar Blondie, Nusret, and Turkish Airlines. So this could be the next BAYC, uh, Board Ape Yacht Club, with some pieces worth millions. All right. So let's dive into this a little bit. Um, Polyverse Art by Idris, Idris B., the Polyverse Art is a collection of 11,001 unique Polyverse NFTs launched on the Ethereum blockchain and created by world-renowned artist Idris B. Polyverse Art is the possibility to own, for the very first time, exclusive sculptures as NFTs for a fraction of its price. Being the owner of those NFTs will give you exclusive access to Idris B's newest work, but also to VIP art exhibition, private concert, fashion shows, jewelry, and privileged access. That gorilla's just boss. The elephant, I mean, here in Florida, the alligator is cool. I mean, I got a reason to love all of them, honestly. Born and raised in Paris, Idris has shown an interest in art since his childhood. With his considerable knowledge of new materials, combinations of different sources, and various handmade art objects, Idris began to think of a new collection. This collection was made by molding his vision of contemporary art to create polygonal animal forms in different sizes, which he then sold to collection collectors as limited edition pieces. The goal is to give the possibility to everyone to own a unique piece of art. So I'm guessing, um, you know, you get you buy the the NFTs at Mint, and then there's a shot at at potentially um, gaining ownership of of one of the actual sculptures. Um, this is not another NFT project. This is a real artist that is exposed to amazing places. After making pieces with Burak, sending sending by helicopter his pieces in the middle of Dubai, Expo in the Four Seasons, and recently a special collaboration with Jemariah Group, I, Idris B is now getting to NFT. <laughs> it's really hard to read, sorry folks. Uh, you are invited to the Polyverse Club on Discord where you can engage with the artists, learn more about how the project will shift the art conversation, and prepare yourself for the metaverse. Uh, the epic journey begins. Thanks to his great art of career and sales, Idris B., the artist will dedicate himself a $250,000 fund to finance the community's de development and creations and to book the special events we are working on. It will also be used to launch a huge marketing campaign to make the world know about your future piece of art, which is why they're paying for this segment. I mean, they're doing it. They're paying and they're getting the word out. Uh, so that's cool. A lot of prestigious events are going to happen with our favorite artists, which will make your piece more desirable. Uh, to the stars, become an astronaut. 
Um, this is polyverseart.io. Um, you know, check it out if this sounds cool to you. I am I, I'm actually interested in maybe grabbing one of these to see if I can, I don't know, if there's a chance I can I would love to win one of those elephants for my wife. <laughs> I just think that would be um, insane. Um, that's all basic questions. So, yeah, I mean, f yeah, I think this is just cool. Mint, um, connect wallet. Don't miss the chance to get into real art. Script sculpture for each mint. Bases, art concerts. What do you wait? Sculpture for each mint. I guess it just depends on like what's the price of each of these sculptures like uh, what's the minting price um uh, does it say in the fact at all nft strategy discord expert the artist um this is um faq goes to team oh okay this when is this launch the launch of the polyverse nfts will be announced on our social media soon join our discord to learn more i hope they at least post the stuff on twitter because i just Discord's cool, but it's just way too complicated. And I'll, I, if I'm in there for 15 minutes, I get 10 different people spamming me with scams and bullshit. I, I just, I can't take it. Discord to me is like a cesspool. Um, so anyway, uh, like at least follow them on Twitter and I'm assuming Instagram. Uh, but yeah, that's Polyverse Art. Uh, check it out if you if you want a shot at, at getting a you know a real sculpture. Um, I mean, when I see when I think of sculpture and I see this picture, I'm thinking the sculptures are going to be this big. If they're that big, I'm all in. I think that's awesome. But if it's like just a little desk sculpture or something, then I'm not overly pressed. I'm just being honest. I mean, they're cute and they're cool, but I want something for like the backyard. You know what I mean? Um, that would just be a lot of fun and it'd be cool to take pictures with it. Um, so anyway, that's it for today. It's Monday. It's a new year. It's 2022. I've got my eye on things. I'm really hoping to see things really start to climb. And, um, there's a lot of big stuff coming on Cardano in the very near future. So let's hope it all, it benefits all of us in really big ways. 2022 to the moon. I'm hoping, and I'm hoping those are famous last words as we plummet to our doom. Uh, but I've got pretty good, uh, pretty, pretty high hopes, solid expectations. And I think pretty realistic ones based off of what we've seen thus far. Um, so until next time, thanks for joining me, crew your coins. I'll see you again soon, probably tomorrow.